this damn traffic. We're gonna be late for the Bazooka Sharks game. And if you don't see the beginning, the rest of the game doesn't make any sense. Thanks for agreeing to take me to Urban Outfitters after the game. It sucks that the closest one is 70 miles away. I never agreed to that. I don't even know what that is, some sort of store? Stan, it's not just a store, it's a lifestyle. But more than that, it's a store. They have everything. Polaroid cameras, suitcase record players, and the flower dress Janine Garofalo wore in Reality Bites. It's one-stop shopping if you're looking to go full Garofalo. Fine, if it'll shut you up, we can go there. Okay, let's do it. I feel good about this. Really good, and not just because I'm on OxyContin. Though that is... A it's kickoff time, Bazooka Shark fans! We're missing the game! Oh man, so is Sky Crooner! On my way back from Family Court! Gotta keep my job to pay child support! Yeah, yeah! Sky Crooner stuck in traffic! Good morning, USA! I got a feeling that it's gonna be a wonderful day. The sun in the sky has a smile on his face. No one even touched their plates. Guess they're too good for this lovely breakfast brisket. Ah! Oh, you like my brisket. Well, I like you. Oh, but you have to try it with the sauce and sides. Here, I'll make you a plate. This, Mom. This kind of thing is why you're always getting rabies. Thanks for taking the time out of your busy schedule to meet with us. My pleasure. I uh, always have time for my constituents. You really can lower your firearm now. Of course. I but he's also the one we have to impress right now. And judging by the scowl on his face, he heard the bullfrog thing. So, take it away, Stan! Mr. Mayor, this town needs a bullet train. A bullet train? Huh. Guys, a conservative estimate for a bullet train is in the billions, and using a bullet train for intracity travel makes no sense at all. Let's stand finish. I think you'll change your dumb minds after you hear the presentation my main man worked all afternoon on. Here's a rendering of the train proposal, along with environmental impact, traffic flow analysis, and other factors. I drew Batman, too, because I'm really good at drawing Batman exactly what this town needs! I hate that we don't have one of those! You guys talking bullet train? Yeah, I, I think it could help with traffic and stuff. I, for one, dislike traffic, so this idea is really speaking to me. Well, it isn't just about traffic. A bullet train isn't about taking you from one place to another. A bullet train is about telling people that this town has arrived. That's beautiful. You're beautiful, babe. Aww, I'm getting so horny for this bullet train. Has anyone considered roundabouts? In Europe, they've alleviated... We're talking about a train. Now, I'm not gonna stand up here and say that this train will solve all of your problems. Because you... Can. I'm not sure. That is all I need to hear. I am all aboard this train audio. I have half a mind to ask who that was. What do you think? What the hell is going on? I've never mentioned it because I'm... New sign. Oops, old sign. But timeless message. Me? Run for mayor? Oh my god, Stan, that should be your slogan! Stan Smith, me run for mayor! Uh, I don't know, Roger. No, 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 no. Steve, you cannot be seen with those losers during an election. I got you new friends. New friends? If you think I'm gonna abandon... Make sure those dorks don't sneak in through the back. To the pool! Let me guess. I'm gonna need a new husband, because Jeff's gonna make the campaign look bad. Jeff is actually polling great with suburban house husbands and Cajun seniors in the meatpacking. Self is the Jackie Kennedy of Langley Falls. Um, what's with the... Lamont? He's my rat. Oh, hey, Lamont. So, what you think, Stanny? I'm not sure, Roger. Isn't there more to governing than just building a train? No! That's the genius of your idea! The train solves everything! Unemployment? Everybody can have a job building the train. Education? Ride the rails and learn some hobo wisdom. Crime? The only thing criminal is not having a bullet train. Stan, your town needs you. 
I'll do it. Stan Smith is running for mayor. Yeah! What do you think, Francine? Ever done it with a mayor? I have. Six of them, actually. Six. I've been a U.S. president, and also, thanks to Hulu, I've now seen every episode of Spin City. Come on, our campaign ad is about to air. I hope you like it, because I blew our entire budget on this. Everyone thinks they know Mayor Alan Woodside. I got Tom Likas to do the voiceover. Huge get. Chicks love him. But how well do we really know him? <laughs> That's right. He's a giant spider. Except this spider hates God, young mothers, and only loves one thing. Masturbating of the American flag. I'm Stan Smith, and I approve this message. Hours last night. I'm Memphis Stormfront, your local weatherman, and I guess I also do this. Let's welcome our candidates, your incumbent mayor, Alan Woodside. And you've probably seen this guy in your Facebook feed yelling about trains, Stan Smith. This will be a town hall debate with questions from real undecided voters. Let's begin. As a pregnant woman, I want to know why Mayor Woodside thinks I'm ugly. What? I do not think you're ugly. I think motherhood Boring. Is... This guy has derailed the town long enough. We need to get back on track. Hello, I'm a small business owner. An experience I make up for in the power team. Okay, so here are your approval ratings from the debate. As you can see, great start. Roger's running around hammering the mayor from all sides, and here is where the power... Yep. Here's an idea. Maybe we get some dirt on that baby. Make Stan the hero. Bye, Mom. My crew and I are gonna roll up our jeans and playfully chase each other on the beach. Why is he always telling me where he's going? So if Dad wins, what's gonna be your thing? You know how First Ladies always have projects they want to accomplish? Hmm, I haven't given much thought to it. Been mostly focused on my rat. But you're right, I need a project. Well, I hate fat kids. Is there something I could do with that? Maybe school lunches? Ship them away to an island? Polls are, are in. They've called the election. Apparently, thanks in part to a mass influx of 10,000 migrant workers, it's a landslide victory for Hithamus Nats. Oh, wait, I read that backwards. It's Stan Smith. Have you seen Stan? No. Have you seen my crew? Silly goose, the election's over. I can only afford to rent them for a week. They're gone? But we were all going to go with Ashton to meet his birth mother. Stan? Stan, this is your big night. What the heck are you doing up here with your hat? What have I gotten myself into? I don't know how to be mayor. What do mayors even do? I'm like, in charge of the library? The mayor's job is to delegate. So you put me in charge of building the train, and you focus on this fun puzzle. Oof. No one said politics was gonna be easy. This town can't afford a $5 billion bullet train. Hey! Here and nothing. Well, where's Dante? Are either of the Brocks available? Oh, never mind, I see Scoot. Shouldn't be much longer. First of all, I'm proud to announce, look. What was one is two? Thank you, thank you. Now, a lot of people tried to tell me that there's no silver bullet to solving all the problems in this town. But I guess those ass wipes have never seen a silver bullet train. Oh, I thought it was gonna be silver. Hey, cool if I talk to the crowd? What, what are you wearing? Are those dead r I am the first lady. Sorry, Franny, your rat fun is over. Roger, get out of my way. I'm the 
mayor's wife and you work for him. How is that? What's going on? Take her away! <laughs> Rats! Protect your queen! Take the form of Eiffel Tower! I taught him that. Where are we going? Hello, Francie. Doesn't it feel nice to have that bag taken off your head? What's happening? We've all been deemed enemies of the state. To which I say good! How about... Huh. It's rush hour and no traffic at all. Can only mean one thing. Bullet train killing it! <gasps> That's weird. Usually by now, Francine's texted me back a black thumbs up. Stan, we must talk. Your chief of staff has turned Langley Falls into a totalitarian state. You've become a puppet. You need to... That's preposterous. I'm not a puppet. I'm real. I'm a real boy. Now, listen, Stan. Ah, talking cricket! Ah! Roger, we need to talk. I just looked up what totalitarian... Shark's nest, which I may have turned into a post-apocalyptic prison. Why would you do this? Stan... This has always been about one thing and one thing only. Urban Outfitters. What the hell does your weird store have to do with this? I was sick of driving 90 minutes to buy a pillow shaped like a taco. I needed to attract an Urban Outfitters to Langley. You know what it takes to get an Urban Outfitters? Infrastructure. That's why your bullet train was the perfect idea. And while I'm admitting stuff, I also slept with, like, all our interns. Even the chubby one. His name is Noah. We're in love, and we don't care what you think. You need to close down that prison. Are you crazy? That's where Noah and I had our first kiss. Uh, never... Hmm. <laughs> oh! Oh, God, this place is worse than I thought. I gotta find Francine, but where to even start looking? Oh, there she is. So this... This just kept going. Don't like the coat? How about a little summertime fun? Gross. I'm just glad you're all right. I'm sorry, Francine. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to them. Apologize later. Right now, I'm gonna get us out of here. How the hell are you gonna do that? Not by with talking. Action sequence, baby! So, does it feel like an Urban Outfitters? It's very large. Seven acres of floor space for funky coasters and denim that fits weird. And there's a bullet train? There, shit. Well, lemonade. Do -lo 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 -lo. Guess this could also be a Build-A-Bear. It is with great regret I announce that I am stepping down as mayor. Look, I, I didn't take being mayor seriously. I was an idiot for thinking I could do this job. But you're also idiots for electing me. So we all share responsibility for this dumpster fire. But if I had to pick, I would say you guys were the bigger idiots. Oh, yeah! It's time for a return to sensible leadership as I give the office of mayor back to a great man, the unfairly maligned Alan Woodside. Come on up here, Alan. Woodside was stabbed to death in your 